All right, what is up, guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode 11 of my Out of the Park Baseball 21 franchise here with the Milwaukee Brewers. So, um, I did that thing where I kind of disappear without telling anybody for a couple weeks, and now I'm doing that thing where I say a perfectly valid reason and pretend it's never going to happen again, but it's probably going to happen again in like a month. But anyway, I had finals. I am done. I'm halfway done through college. Um, that's terrifying. Um, what that means is that I am probably going to go to grad school so I can pretend like the real world does not exist. Anyway, we are here <laughs> at the NLCS of the 2022 season. Um, facing the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, it's been a while since I recorded the last one. I've got no idea if I went over the roster last time. So, we're going to do a quick little run-through. Arizona is a very powerful offensive team. They are led by Mookie Betts, first and foremost, who is being paid a shockingly little amount of money. Uh, I kind of expect in real life he'll get like 40 to $45 million dollars. Um, they have Mike Moustakis, my guy, um, Alec Thomas, a really good rookie, not rookie, but young center fielder who absolutely mashed this season. Um, they've just got a lot of really solid guys. I think their only player less than a 55 overall uh, in their starting lineup is their shortstop at Denny Hechevarria, who has never been known for his offense. He put up 55 <laughs> OPS plus this year. That's bad, but he's really good defensively you know he's your eight hitter when you've got this good of a lineup having one weak spot isn't really an issue pitching rotation their top three are all really solid zach gallon luke weaver and john duplantier um kind of all the same pitcher decent stuff decent command um the only real difference is like their movements duplantier is solid weaver's not great and gallon's average and then there's madison bumgardner who I will never forgive for a certain 2014 World Series. Um, he's not great at this point in his career, 503, but he eats a lot of innings, um, gives up a lot of home runs, so Game 4, probably going to be looking to exploit that, I think. Nope, Game 3, he is going to be their third starter, as Luke Weaver will be their Game 1. Bullpen is weak, they only have two guys above a 55 or, 55 or higher, that is Kevin Ginkle, their closer, who did not have a very good season, and I believe Okert? No. Josh Green, there we go, who did have a pretty solid season. Looks like he was their fifth starter, though, because he pitched 120 innings. Uh, they were the wild card team, the first wild card team. They had a better regular season record than us, and they beat the Los Angeles Dodgers in five games. On the American League side, we've got Tampa Bay versus Minnesota, but that is not important. We are going to get into game one. It'll be Luke Weaver versus... I don't know. Freddie Peralta? Michael Fulmer. There it is. I think Peralta's actually in the bullpen. It's been a while since I've done this. Anyway, oop, got to make sure my sound is off so we don't have any of that unusable recording. Um... Yeah, looks good. I may have to cut that out because it just showed my desktop for some reason and not OOTP. Great editing. I love it so much. <laughs> game 1. Of <laughs> Let's just get into the stupid game. I'm already deteriorating mentally. Uh, I've been in my house for almost two straight months. So, yeah, having a great time. Game 1 gets started. Top of the first, no score. Bottom of the second, Milwaukee gets a runner in scoring position, even though we did have a lower record. We are the home team in this series uh, because we won our division. Runner in second, one out for Josh Bell. The 1-2 pitch is swung on and missed. First baseman strikes out. Now Luis Urseg, the third baseman, also strikes out. Milwaukee leaves a runner in scoring position. Bottom uh, or top of the four, excuse me, a no out triple drives in a run and puts another runner 90 feet away. Mookie Betts will walk. That'll put runners on the corners for Seth Beer. The left fielder hits a fly ball to center field. On comes Kane. Kane makes a catch, tagging, and Smith will hold at third. So it'll be runners on the corners 
with one out for Mike Moustakis. The 1-1 pitch is popped up into foul territory. Bell and Hira converge, and Keston Hira makes the catch for the second out. Now it'll be the second baseman, Taylor Walls. 2-2 two -two pitch is grounded to first, so Milwaukee gets out of a bit of a jam, only giving up one run. After 3.5, it is 1-0 Arizona. Bottom of the fourth, Milwaukee looking to answer. Espinal in second with nobody out. The 0-1 pitch to Yelich is going to get past Varsho. And that'll put the tying run 90 feet away with nobody out. 0-1-2 pitch, Christian Yelich strikes out. He is struggling this playoffs. That'll bring up Alexander Palma, who's been a breakout star for Milwaukee, and he comes through with the one-out single. Uh, nothing more comes for the Brewers in the fourth. Fifth is scoreless. Top six, two on. Nobody out. Betts with the 2-2 two -two pitch. It's a line drive into left field. That'll load the bases with nobody out for Seth Beer. First pitch from Fulmer is popped up into foul territory. One out. Now Mike Moustakis. The 1-0 pitch is belted into left field. Going back is Yelich. He makes a catch, tagging, and coming to score is Alec Thomas. That'll bring up Taylor Walls, two on, two out. The 2-2 two -two pitch from the Brewers' righty is a strike. No swing from Walls. And Arizona strands two runners, but takes the lead back. Top of the seventh, two on. Nobody out for the pitcher, Luke Weaver, who really should not be batting, but I messed up. He bunts, and the play is covered, so it was a useless bunt. Got the out at third. Now Alec Thomas comes through with a base hit off of Taylor Rogers. Holding at third is Hechevaria. That'll load the bases with one out for the first baseman, Pavin Smith, who we almost traded for in this series. I believe it was for Kniebel. And he hits a ground ball up the middle into center field. That'll score one. Going to third and holding is Luke Weaver. Diamondbacks extend their lead to 3-1. to one. Now Betts with the bases loaded. One out, 2-1 pitch. In on the hands, popped up into foul territory. Good pitch by Rogers. That'll be the second out as Freitas makes the catch. Now Berrigan comes on to face Seth Beer. The 1-0 pitch with the bases loaded in two outs is flied into short left field. Yelich and Kane converge, and Christian Yelich makes the play for the third out. Diamondbacks have the Brewers knit down to nine, now down to six outs remaining in the game. Bottom of the eighth, Hanager on second with one out for Lorenzo Kane. Kane representing the tying run. Here's a pitch from cl the closer, Ginkle. It's a tapper back to the mound. Pitchers got it to first. Two down, that'll move Hanniger to third. Espinal, 0-1 pitch is a wild pitch. The apparently most common thing in the OETP universe. I love it so much. Anyway, Brewers cut the lead in half. Here in the bottom of the ninth, Ginkle will stay on. He'll face the heart of the Brewers' order. Pitch to Yelich is grounded to first. Stepping on the bag is Smith. That is out number one. Now Alexander Palma. Hits a line drive into center field. Thomas lunges and makes an incredible catch for the second out. That'll bring up Keston here. The last chance for Milwaukee here in game one. 2-2 two -two pitch. Line drive left field. Base hit falls in front of Beer. Oh, sorry. Josh Rojas, a defensive substitution. That'll bring the winning run up to the plate for Josh Bell. Pitch is flied into center field. Thomas coming in. He makes the catch, and Arizona takes game one by a close margin. 3-2, to two and got a nice little achievement there. Cool. <laughs> anyway, game two. Oh, guess we're facing Bumgarner now. As on the American League side, the Twins have a 2-0 series lead on the Tampa Bay Rays. It'll be Robbie Ray versus Madison Bumgarner. Ray facing his former team. Battle of the lefties in game number two. Let's get it started. Top of the first two on. 
Two out for Dalton Varsho. The left-handed hitting catcher hits a pop fly right side. Here it goes out, and it's going to fall into short right field for a bloop hit. Rounding third and scoring is Pavin Smith. Okay, so the animation threw me off, but that's actually like a fairly, fairly realistic play. It's just that the ball fell in front of here instead of behind him, but if it falls behind him, Smith is aggressive on the base path. Diamondbacks take a one nothing lead. That makes sense. Just kind of got thrown off. Now Taylor Walls, 0-2 pitch, is lined into center field, past a diving Espinal. Rounding third and coming to score is Moustakis. And it is 2-0 Arizona as Lorenzo Cain is injured on the play. And he, the Brewers will lose their starting center fielder, so Mitch Hanniger will now play center field. Now Josh Rojas with two outs hits a ground ball to the right side. Hero's got it. That'll end the inning. Diamondbacks take an early 2-0 lead. Bottom of the second run, or on second with nobody out. The 2-2 pitch to Hira is a strike looking for the first out. Now 2-2 to Bell. Soft ground ball to shortstop. Good play by Hechevarria, but the throw gets away from Smith. So they'll put runners on the corners with one down for Orlando Arcia. Arcia hits a fly ball, deep center field, Thomas going back, he's at the track, he's at the track and makes the catch. Tagging up and scoring is Palma, the lead is cut in half. Now Josh Bell steals second, or at least a wild pitch probably, so they'll walk Friedos to get to Robbie Ray. The Brewers pitcher hits a ground ball to second base, and that'll end the inning as Walls goes to first to retire the side. Bottom third now, two on one out for Alexander Palma, who is absolutely mashing so far, and he continues to do so. Line drive into the right field corner against the shift. One run will score. Ra holding at third is Yelich as Espinal scores, but the game is tied, and the Brewers have two in scoring position with just one out. Now the pitch to Hira, soft tapper right side. Bumgarner fields, throws to first. In time, that'll be the second out. And now Josh Bell, first baseman, two on two out, fly ball, short center field. On comes Thomas. He'll make the catch, and the game will remain tied. God damn, my nose is itchy as fuck. Anyway, after three, it is two to two. Top four, I swear to God. It's like the outside of my nose. So it's not like allergies, it's just like itching for some reason. <laughs> Anyway, runner on third, one out for Hechevarria. The 3-1 pitch from Robbie Ray is flied into short right field. On comes Palma. He'll make the catch, and that will force Walls to hold at third. So that'll bring up the pitcher, Madison Bumgarner. 3-2 pitch, ball four. A huge mistake by Robbie Ray, walking the opposing pitcher. And now Alec Thomas hits a ground ball to third, and Arcia will not have a play at first, so the walk directly causes Arizona to take the 3-2 lead. Pavin Smith now with two outs, hits a ground ball to Arcia, who for some reason doesn't step on the bag, throws the second to get the force out. That'll end the inning. But Arcia makes up for it in the bottom of the fourth with a solo home run. Brewers retake the lead, and Arizona takes it right back thanks to a Dalton Varsho home run. All right, bottom six, two on... One out for Marwin Gonzalez. Bumgarner already at 100 pitches on the day. Pinch hitting for Robbie Ray, whose day is done. Uh, Gonzalez strikes out. That'll bring up Hanniger with two on and two down. Ground ball to third, fielded by Mustakas, who throws to first to end the inning. Score remains 4-3 Arizona. Top seven, runner on second, nobody out for Pavin Smith. He strikes out. Thanks to Taylor Rogers, And now Mookie Betts will be intentionally walked. Bringing up Mike Moustakis as Sergio Berrigan will come on to replace the other lefty. Moustakis hits a fly ball to short right field. Palma comes on. Makes a catch. Tagging and holding is Alec Thomas. So that'll bring up Dalton Varsho. 1-2 pitch. Ground ball to second. Here at the first. That'll end the inning. 
bottom seven. Runner on second, that's Palma with two down for Keston Hira. He'll be facing Sam Selman, the lefty for the Diamondbacks. Hira struggling in the playoffs, and his struggles continue as he strikes out looking to end the inning. Top of the eighth. No, nothing doing in the eighth for either team. Nothing in the top of the ninth for Arizona. So the Diamondbacks have the Brewers down to their last three outs once again. Leading off is Danny Sanchez, the pinch hitter. First pitch, or sorry, 1-1, one, 2-1 one, one pitch is grounded to first base. Smith makes a play. He'll take it to the bag himself for out number one. That'll bring up Mitch Hanniger, who hits a fly ball. Short left field coming on is Beer. He's got it. Oh, sorry, Rojas. I'm going to make keep making that mistake, but it's okay. Last chance for Milwaukee is Sergio Espinal facing Steven Okert. Line drive left field. It'll fall in front of Rojas. And for the second straight night, the Brewers have the tying run on base with two down in the bottom of the ninth. 2-2 two -two pitch to the superstar Christian Yelich. He grounds out to second. And the Diamondbacks take game two and take a 2-0 lead back to Arizona. Game three, it'll be Zach Gallen versus, I'm going to check this time, at Brandon Woodruff. We'll load eventually. All right, game number three. Possibly the two best pitchers for each team. It's debatable. But anyway... Game number three from Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona. Kane is perfectly fine after a scare in game two. And in the top of the second, two straight solo home runs, I believe Bell and Arcia. Yes, back-to-back -back solo shots, and Milwaukee takes a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the second, runner on second. For Mike Moustakis, he hits a ground ball back to the mound. Woodruff fires to first for out number one. That'll bring up Taylor Walls. Second baseman pops it up to shortstop. Espinal makes the catch for the second out of the inning. And now Dalton Varsho, left-handed hitting catcher, who is raking so far in the playoffs, strikes out looking to end the inning. Still 2-0 Milwaukee after two. And now we've entered a very significant offensive wall as only four hits for both teams combined through the game. Now runner in second, two down in the bottom of the sixth. Seth Beer hits a ground ball to Hira to end the inning. Wow, what a pitcher's duel we have. Now bottom eight, two on with nobody out for Alec Thomas. He will face Josh Hader. Milwaukee's closer coming in for looking for a six out save. 3 1 pitch to Thomas is lined into center field. That's a base hit. It'll fall in front of Kane. Holding at third is Hechevaria. That'll load the bases for Pavin Smith. Lefty on lefty. 3 2 pitch. Line drive through the right side. That's a base hit. One run scores. Here comes Rojas. The throw to the plate is late. And Arizona has tied the game off of Milwaukee's superstar closer. That'll bring up Mookie Betts. Ironically, it's the righty who strikes out against the lefty hater. Now that'll bring up Seth Beer and a balk. A huge mistake by Hater will put two in scoring position here in the bottom of the eighth. And so they'll intentionally walk Beer to load the bases for Mike Moustakis. 3-2 pitch to the Diamondbacks. Third baseman swung on and missed. Huge strikeout by Josh Hader. That'll bring up Taylor Walls. The 2-2 pitch to the second baseman swung on and missed. Hader strikes out the side but gives up two runs and the game is tied after eight. All right. Top 11, we finally have some action. Two on, two out for Keston Hira who hits a line drive. He hit a shot into left field. <coughs> but Seth Beer makes the catch. Bottom 11th, nothing going. We are still 
plotting along here in game number three. Friedus with two on and nobody out will bunt, moving the go-ahead run 90 feet away for Marwin Gonzalez. Owen pitch from Sam Selman is lined in the left field corner. That'll give Milwaukee the lead. It's a two RBI double for the pinch hitting, or I guess he's playing in right field now, Marwin Gonzalez. Huge double for the right fielder as Milwaukee takes a 4-2 lead. Now Lorenzo Kane line drive right back to the mound. Great play by Selman. Now they'll bring on Riley Gillum to face Espinal. 3-2 pitch from the righty. Swung on and missed. We go to the bottom of the 12th. Milwaukee 4, Arizona 2. And I should have gone batter by batter there, but it's okay. Sergio Berrigan and Drew Rasmussen close out the game. And it's now a 2-1 series favoring Arizona. All right, game number four here. Yeah. All right, here from Chase Field for game four, we've got John Duplant here taking on Brent Suter. Suter runs into trouble first, bottom of the second. 0-2 pitch to Rojas, ground ball to Hira. That'll end the inning. No score after two or three, but here in the top four, two on, one out for Josh Bell, who hits a fly ball into right field. Going back, making the catch is Sanchez. Nope, M Mookie Betts. I looked at the wrong box score there. They'll put runners on the corners for the aforementioned Danny Sanchez, who draws a walk. So Sanchez getting the start over Palma today. That'll load the bases for Orlando Arcia. He'll hit a ground ball right into the shift, but apparently... Oh, he took it to the bag himself. Just did not see that on the animation. No score after three and a half. Bottom four. Three one pitch, ground ball. Right side, double play, inning over. End of four, no score. Top five, two on with one out for Sergio uh, sorry, Santiago Espinal. Santiago. I'm gonna get it right eventually. Just let me keep talking. Anyway, base Mm -hmm. Two on, two out for Christian Yelich. 1-1 one, one pitch is lined into the left field corner. That is going to get down and rattle up against the wall. Coming in to score is... Suter Kane follows suit, and it is 2-0 Milwaukee. I am really bad at this. As they intentionally walk Keston here. That'll put two on for Josh Bell, who hits a line drive through the middle. Yelich coming to third. He's going to round. He's going to try to score. The throw from Thomas is just late. It is 3-0 Milwaukee. That'll bring up Danny Sanchez as the scoring threat continues. He hits a ground ball to Hechevarria. Long throw across the diamond. will retire Sanchez and the side. After 4.5, it is 3-0 Milwaukee, but Arizona threatening in the bottom of the fifth. 2-2 pitch from Beer is flied deep right field. Going back is Sanchez. Nearing the warning track, he makes a catch for the first out. Tagging and advancing is Rojas. That'll put runners on the corners with one down for Alec Thomas. Center fielder hits a ground ball to first. Bell will take it to the bag himself. Hechevria goes to second. That'll put two in scoring position with two out for Pavin Smith. And the first baseman hits a ground ball to Hira. That'll end the inning. Score remains 3 nothing. Arizona. Nope. Milwaukee. Bottom of the sixth. Two in scoring position with nobody out for Dalton Varsho. And the 3 2 pitch is belted into right field. Back to the wall and gone. Dalton Varsho ties the game. 3 3 in the sixth. Top of the seventh, a two-run home run for Keston Hira. 
puts Milwaukee up 5-3. to three. Wow, so this has been a roller coaster of a game so far. And now it's tied in the bottom of the eighth. A two-run home run for Varsho, his second on the day. What a game for Dalton Varsho. Top of the ninth, runner on second with nobody out for Lorenzo Kane. He is facing Kevin Ginkle. And the pitch to Kane is lined into center field. That'll be caught by Thomas. Holding at second is Hanniger. That'll bring up the shortstop Espinal. 2-2 pitch on him is grounded to his counterpart, Hechevarria. Throw to first for the second out. That'll bring up Christian Yelich. He will be intentionally walked so they can face Hira with two down. Hira hitting 172 in the playoffs. He strikes out looking. And Milwaukee strands two runners in the ninth. And Arizona walks it off in the bottom of the ninth. Solo home run for a Denny Hechevarria ends this game. And Palma will miss two weeks with a hamstring strain. That's a huge loss for this Brewers team. All right, who are we adding to the playoff roster? Corey Ray? Yikes, we don't have a lot of outfield depth that has MLB experience. I think it's got to be... Shit. This is not good. Honestly? I might just add two ring. He's just the best player we can add at this point. We've got we don't need another out we don't need another outfielder. You don't need five outfielders on the roster, so anyway, game number five. Milwaukee facing elimination. Here at Chase Field, it'll be Luke Weaver versus Michael Fulmer. Same matchup as game number one. Top of the first, Milwaukee threatening immediately runner in second with one out. For Christian Yelich, who strikes out. That'll bring up Keston Hira. 1-2 pitch on him. Ground ball to third. Moustakis flubs it. Huge error by the third baseman, who is almost perfect on defense most of the time. That'll bring up Josh Bell. Runners on the corners. Two outs. He hits a fly ball. Deep right field. It is carrying, but it'll be caught short of the track by Betts to end the inning. Bottom of the first, Arizona threatening. Runner on second, nobody out. Line drive to first by Smith is caught by Bell. That'll bring up Betts, who hits a line drive through the left hole, left side hole. That'll put runners on the corners with one down for Seth Beer. Pitch is grounded to second. Here at Espinal, back to Bell, double play, and the Brewers get out of a jam. Bottom of the second, solo home run leading off by Mike Moustakis. Puts Arizona up, and now the Diamondbacks are threatening in the third. Two on, one out, ground ball to short. Espinal takes it to the bag for one. Fires to first for the double play. Still one nothing Arizona. Top four, runner on second, two down for Danny Sanchez. He hits a ground ball to the right side. Throw to first, inning over. Still one nothing Arizona. Now, two on, nobody out for Varsho, the hero of game number four. He hits a pop fly to short left field. It'll be caught by <clears throat> Yelich. That'll bring up Hechevarria, two on, one out. And we've got some catcher's interference. All right, that'll load the bases for the pitcher, Luke Weaver, who hits a ground ball to third. Arcia to the plate. Throw to first is not in time, so they get the force at home, saving a run. Bases loaded, two outs for Alec Thomas. The 3-2 pitch, strike three looking, and Fulmer gets out of the jam. It is still 1-0 Arizona after four. Bottom five, two on, two out. Four, nobody out, but the count is 2-2 two, two on Seth Beer, and Joe Jimenez strikes him out for out number one. 
That'll bring up Mike Moustakis. He is two for two so far. He hits a ground ball to the right side. Hira can't get the force at second, so he'll just go to first for out number two. That'll put two in scoring position with two down for Taylor Walls, who hits a ground ball to third. Arcia across the diamond. That'll end the inning. Still one nothing after five. Bottom six, it's Arizona threatening once again. Milwaukee just has two hits on the day. Luke Weaver will hit a bunt, will bunt it to third. Arcia will throw to first. That'll put runners on second and third with one down for Alec Thomas. 2-2 pitch is belted into deep center field. And Kane will not have a chance at that. It's a 3-1, three, 3 run home run by Alec Thomas. They'll make Arizona's lead go from 1 to 4 with one swing of the bat. And the Diamondbacks now have a firm control on this series. Bottom of the 7th, looking for even more insurance. Two on, nobody out. Walls hits a fly ball to center field. That'll be played by Kane. Holding at second is Seth Beer. Now two on, one out for Dalton Varsho. He swings and misses on the 1-2 pitch. So that'll be two down for Adeni Hechevarria coming on to replace the pitcher is Adrian Hauser. Hechevarria hits a fly ball, deep center field. Going back is Kane, but he's there to make the catch. After seven, it is four nothing. Arizona. So I'm gonna go batter by batter since our season is coming down to this. Fridas hits a slow tapper to second on the 0-2 pitch, fired to first for out number one. Now pinch hitting is Mitch Haniger. 3-2 pitch. Tapper in front of the plate. Barstow to first. Two down for Lorenzo Kane. 3-1 on the leadoff hitter. That'll be ball four. Putting runner on with two outs for Santiago Espinal. He hits a pop fly left side of the infield. Hechevarria just in the outfield makes the catch. Arizona has Milwaukee down to their last three outs. Trailing by four. Leading off is Yelich. He will draw a walk. And that'll be it for Luke Weaver. He goes eight plus innings, gives up two hits, no runs. Fantastic day by Weaver. They'll bring on Silvio Bracco to face Hira. Runner on first, nobody out. 2-2 pitch, ground ball, diving stop by Hechevarria. Throws to first, got him. Great play by Hechevarria. Yelich will advance to second on the... I guess it's not a fielder's choice since they didn't get the lead runner. Anyway, Josh Bell walks. That'll put two on with one out for Danny Sanchez. 2-2 two -two pitch, strikes out looking. And Orlando Arcia is the last chance for Milwaukee. Third baseman swings and misses. And the Arizona Diamondbacks win the National League pennant in the year 2022. So that'll do it for our season. Diamondbacks will be facing... Uh, Tampa Bay's actually came back in this series to make it 3-2. to two. I don't remember the context of that because it's been like three weeks. Tampa Bay has won the American League pennant, so it'll be Diamondbacks and almost said Brewers. Almost did. I was really, really close to it there. Diamondbacks and <coughs> Rays in the World Series. And let's simulate this. Arizona takes a 2-0 lead. Okay, Alexander, I'll get to you later. I'm watching the World Series. Tampa Bay wins game three. Arizona wins four and five. And the Arizona Diamondbacks, in a matchup of wildcard teams, has won the 2002 World Series. That'll do it for this episode. Um... I actually, in the middle of recording this, had an idea for a way to change the playoff episodes and make them more entertaining, but unfortunately that requires more work for me. Anyway, I'll probably do that next time we are in the playoffs. Hopefully it's next season, but um, again, this team just does not have a ton of assets between our major league and minor league teams. Um, we're kind of talent-strapped, so it's going to be interesting to see um, if we can continue this playoff streak or if this is kind of a one offer and it looks like my game is frozen here it goes anyway that is it for episode 11 thank you guys for watching um, episode 12 should be out in a day from now 
I'm going to start pumping these out now that I am done with school and cannot get a job. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.